Good evening, everybody. How we all doing tonight? Uh, once again, just jumping straight back in. As I said uh, in the original part of this, not intending to do too much faffing about uh, side quest wise so I don't really have much in the way of stuff I need to try to do off-stream for this. It's not like the, um, the property and cabaret club uh, side quests in Yakuza 0 that took a good, like, 6 to 10 hours each outside of the main uh, plot stuff. Those were pretty rough as well, because if you didn't do them, you didn't get access to Kiryu's Legend Stance, or uh, Majima's Mad Dog of Shimano Stance. Which were both... Well, the, the Legend Stance I wasn't very good at using in Zero. I think I have a better feel for it now, because I'm used to how he fights in the earlier games. Um, but the Mad Dog Stance for Majima was... By far... His best stance. Oh, he's just gone. He's already gone. I think it'd start to get around after a while. This guy in the white suit with the red shirt just flattens street punks, so maybe don't pick a fight with him. Or you're gonna get your ass handed to ya. Ah. Mm. I think we've actually talked to these guys before. Speaking of Serena, that's, I believe, where we need to head at the moment. Did I have any... Oh, that's right! I completely forgot! I've, <laughs> I've uh, looked behind the scenes here. I haven't recorded for a couple of days, so I completely forgot what I was doing. West Park, come on, show. Okay. Uh, I'm not actually sure of a West Park. I know of Public Park 3, and I know of the Children's Park. Uh, I'm not sure about a West Park. Oh, as, okay, as in Purgatory. Alrighty, let's head down there then. Wasn't that supposed to have been redeveloped into Kamurocho Heights? I mean, the, the actual Purgatory part of it is still alive underground. I'm curious if the fight ring's still there. I wouldn't mind doing some of the old fight ringing. Actually, let's talk to our musician friend. He might have a clue for us. Uh. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, okay. the, the, the hint for this one is very straightforward. I don't know when they start implementing the run button. No, but it does not appear to exist in this game.
Oh, that's right, his thing said he had a, a, uh, propensity to run away. Now, what the, the annoying thing about the no run button is this bit does have a run button. So why couldn't we implement this for use in normal situations? Ah. Ack. Oh. I was trying to barge through the crowd. It didn't work so good. Oh. Ugh, timing. I do like these little chase mini games. I think they're a nice addition. What the? The stun prod's gonna make this annoying. hitbox to it. I'm trying to go for the, the dodge around the side. Maybe I should just go with the brutalizing <laughs> Okay, he's got crazy good tracking as well. Alright. Gun. It's as bad as goddamn actual guns, it just interrupts you. I hate these enemies that get like instantly recovered, even after you dodge. I've got one too. So apparently his is much more effective than mine. I wonder if I can block. Oh, he's about to block stun guns, I'm not. Seems 
you should glitch him a little bit and, and get a quick dodge around the side. You can get a decent combo off on him. We're gonna angry him? Oh, we are. Whatever, I guess I'll just let them take care of me. Jesus Christ, right? These people are trying to help you. Yeah, he does indeed have something to learn about manners. Park three. Well, alrighty then. The like looking a bit scruffy as a way to sort of blend in with the homeless crowd is certainly not a bad way to operate. Sit here, don't touch anything, and look pretty. Job of a secretary. Uh, where are we? Actually, how's my health? I should definitely grab a burger. Is it the same as... Man, she got scary hair and scary Don't face, that lady. Oh, I didn't mean to do to go. Alright, give me a couple of burgers then. The best, like, healing foods are those sushi platters. They heal you up real good, like. Oh dear, excuse me. Oh, that's a kid. Inspect the man's crotch. Don't worry about me, guy. Just sticking my hand between your legs. Not a thing to worry about. Son? Uh.
My favorite side quest of all these games is still definitely the Daraku 3 side quest from Zero. Okay, this guy's got some slick moves. Not to be underestimated. Get him away from the edge so that I can get around behind him. Oh, that sort of works. amount of Trixie on both sides. in my favor there, that's fair. I can't remember if it was Zero or Kiwami that had a side quest sort of like this as well. I think it was Zero, where, um, man in witness protection was, uh, playing catch with his son, but couldn't let him know that it was actually, like, his father. Respect that. you and his ridiculous amount of diplomacy.
These pay really good. This is probably going to be a problem. Paired. Um, oh, dear. Is he like a... Maybe it isn't a two-man dealie. Maybe it's a cross-dresser sort of dealie. Armed with guns, though. Ugh. You thought that stun gun fight was bad. I'm wondering if any of the chaps we grab end up in these cells. Although no one we've grabbed so far has really been deserving of a cell. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Depending on how long I spend doing Avenger stuff here, I might have to just name this part like a side part. Avenger Quest. I keep saying I'm not gonna faff about too much, and then I faff about too much. I suppose such is the nature of the uh -huh. Ryu Gagotoku games. <laughs> So much content off the main path. That's part of what really makes them great, though. It makes them feel alive and also makes everything feel interesting. Was he wielding, uh, it was a bottle? I wasn't sure if it was a bottle or if it was like a blackjack or something. No, it was a bottle. Do people even use blackjacks anymore? Last time I used a blackjack heavily in a video game would have been the original Thief. Looking great game that, mind you. Okay, that's cool. Because this is obviously, if you've played Zero, um, you get to see, like, the, the opening story beat in Zero is Kiryu doing a loan collection job. Um, but that hasn't really been mentioned up to this point. Now, am I supposed to be manually tracking him down, or am I supposed to be waiting for the information to come in? Oh. You 
make it sound like you're inviting me for a night out rather than about to punch in the face. Stomp is just not as satisfying as the punch. The, the nose-crushing punch from 2 was just so satisfying. They just smoosh their faces. Well, I'm already here. Ah, I wonder if that triggered because I am here. We're also looking for the, uh... Uh, Avenger. Ah, now, does this turn into a, a chase down? And then we get paid based on how quickly we succeed in the chase down? No, but that wouldn't make sense fluff-wise, though. It would make some mechanical sense. Huh? Uh, okay then, buddy. <laughs> Oh, one of these. Ugh. I hate these type of enemies. Thousand bucks. That definitely went well for us. Now, where's the other chap I'm after? Might be a uh, chap at, depending if I'm right about this guy. It was the bowling alley, right? Uh, where are we? Yeah, Mac Bowl. I'll be curious! Oh, excuse me. Dearie me, I'm yawny bugger tonight. I'll be- ah, uh, here we go. I'll be curious to see if this still exists. Uh, while I'm in Japan. Okay. Curious. That's a nice trick. Can we try again? Be a bit awkward if we could, but video game going to video game. Yeah.
Ah, okay. This is... <gasps> this is playing out differently from how I expected. I, I expected there was a cross-dress involved, but I expected it to just be a single person deal. I was not expecting two people and one of them to be a cross-dresser. Guns. Fucking guns. Fight like men, even if you're dressed like a lady. Can I? Oh damn! I was hoping I'd get like a context-sensitive heat move and get to like send him down the bowling alley. That would have been great. How about grabs? Can I grab him? Usually you can't grab the always defending type guys. Oh. Nice, I can. Those guys don't seem like they've got any kind of remorse for what they're doing. Ugh. Guns again. Oh god. Hiding where- is he up the top of Millennium Tower? Can we even get to the rooftops of Millennium Tower? Outside of story sequences? I'm just trying to think, where are the high rise? Like, there's a lot of big buildings in Kamrucho, but Millennium Tower is by far the tallest. And we're gonna, we're gonna continue our poor dietary habits and eat some more burgers. I just want to eat a burger, man. Why oh, you got to be all up in my business? Oops. 
give me the sword. Wait, did the sword despawn? God damn it. Oh, I know. It flew over this way. It is nice that a lot of the, like, basic weapons have more hits to them. Um, because... Most of the weapons you grabbed off of an enemy in the previous games had, like, five hits in them. You wouldn't even get time to start swinging before it had already broken. I did to go again, didn't I? <sighs> I'll hold on to that one for now, use it a bit later. Right, let me see if my theory is correct. God damn it, why everybody want to fight? Okazaki? I should... I should really, because I'm not really fussed about this particular ability, but yeah, the, what comes next might be good. Yeah, okay, that is pretty good. And also, yeah, so, yeah, exactly, as I said, that one particular tier, not very exciting, but the tier after it is much more interesting. Okay, my theory wasn't bad. It was good enough that the game developers also thought of the same theory. Didn't I spot a key somewhere? Ah, uh, might have been one of them lights. don't... Like, if, if no one can get up there, then why do we need to get up there? Did we, didn't you just establish that we don't need to be going there, and yet here we are still going there? Ah, okay, so this is how we get up there. We have to... Okay. That, fair enough. Now I understand the game's logic.
maybe stop him from walking away. Now, is he actually gonna fight us with a sniper rifle, or is he gonna have, like, yeah, a shotgun or a pistol or something? This game had this weird problem as well, where shotgun really didn't deal all that much damage. <laughs> they did work very much like this, though. You just chain stun people into the ground. It's also like crazy god break tech. I get the spacing on the, uh, the dodge punch right. You can sort of make something out of it. See, at least he seems somewhat remorseful. Now, I wonder if it's going to open up new ones or if it's going to just be done for now. I think, as I mentioned previously, what I might do is just put this as like a half part. Uh, just purely going around punching out Avengers.
since there's not a lot of time left to be getting back into the plot. Oh, actually, actually save points down there, isn't it? So yeah, that, uh, that'll do us for this part, I think. Bit of a short side quest bit. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching everyone, and hopefully I'll see you all next time.